One of the challenges of working remotely is you don't see the people that you work with every single day. And if your business is distributed, chances are you never get to actually meet your team or very rarely meet your team in person. And the problem with this is that not everyone is great at remembering names. A lot of people are more visually orientated, so therefore uh, connect better with people via their face. Now, I'm one of those visual people. I prefer to see people's face than I do necessarily their name, and I won't necessarily remember someone based on just their name, but their face I'll instantly recognize. Now, in Microsoft 365, we have the ability to add a profile photo, but a lot of people don't do this because they don't know how to do it or aren't interested in sharing their face. Now, it's very important that we do this. How do we do that? Now, I'm going to quickly jump across over here in our Microsoft 365 or Office.com landing page. This is where we go and start with everything to do with Microsoft 365. Now, the first thing you'll notice is up here in the corner, I've got a generic image here um, for this uh, tenant that I'm logged in at. Now, chances are you'll just see your initials in here if you haven't added a photo. Now, I originally added a photo to this, um, hence why I replaced it with a generic one. So how are we going to go about adding that in? Now, if we click in here, you'll notice that if we hover over this particular icon, there's an option to add or change your picture. It's really simple. We click on this. It's going to pop up our little window and we can go and upload a new photo. Great, simple, easy. But what happens if I don't have a photo available? Now, if you've got a laptop, whether you're using Windows or Mac, then you're going to have a photo app. Now, this is Photo Booth on Mac. On Windows, it's called Camera. Nice and easy, it works just like your smartphone camera. So if you have an inbuilt camera, most laptops do these days, it's easy to take a selfie. So now I can just click on here, if I get the right uh, thing, and take a snapshot. Boom, there we go. I have now a snapshot that I can use. Now, Photo Booth here stores it here, and I can go and access that particular photo. Now, I can export this if you're using the Mac. Now, on Windows, the camera app saves it in your Pictures folder. So just go and find it in there. It's actually strange thinking that it's called Pictures, even though you're taking it using the camera app. That's where it's stored. Video also gets put in that location. Then you go and find that particular file. Now, I'm going to export this because on the Mac it puts it into um, your Windows. I'm going to save it directly in my uh, picture. So I'm going to call it Profile Pic. There we go. Great, we can get rid of that. Now I can go and upload that photo. See if I can find it. Profile Picture, there we go. Boom. I can zoom in a little bit if I want. Um, now, I'm done. There's my new profile photo. Good to go. So you should have no excuse of why you can't get your profile photo in here. Now, bear in mind, it can take a few hours, sometimes up to 24 hours, for that to be reflected everywhere. But every time your name is presented there, and we, and we find a um, representation of that, you will eventually see your photo over that particular content. All right? That's how we do it. Nice and simple. So go and add your profile photo today to your Microsoft 365 account.